Claire, what craft are we going to make today? Mosaic cross. All right, so let's get crafting. Let's get crafting. So let's start with the center. This one's going to go here, just like that. Go ahead. So are there sometimes things that you have to do every single day? Yes. Yes, like what kinds of things do you have Sweep to do Sweep the every floor. Day? Sweep the floor, yep. This is Those going to go right yep. here. Are there sometimes things that you have to do every day that you don't really like doing a whole lot? Yep. Like what things? Brushing my teeth. Well, today's readings, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly. And then Peter took Jesus aside and said, um, Jesus, no, you're not allowed to go suffer. You're Jesus. And Jesus said, get behind me, Satan. But that's not nice to say. It's not nice to say, is it? Jesus doesn't always say things that are nice. But he does say what needs to be said. Peter was trying to talk Jesus out of doing what Jesus needed to do. Why? Because what Jesus needed to do was something that nobody wants to do. Nobody wants to suffer, but Jesus carried his cross, so to speak. I mean, proverbially and literally. So Jesus said, you're not thinking the way that my father thinks. You're not thinking the way God thinks. You're just, you know, uh, thinking the way human beings think, which is true. That's what that's how Peter was thinking. But Jesus wants us to think with the mind of God. Whoever comes with me must deny himself, take up their cross, and follow him. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for Jesus' sake will find it. Remember we did the craft with the magnifying glass? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talked about that then too. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Then Jesus said to his disciples, take up your cross and follow me. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for me finds it. So, what does it mean to take up your cross? Something about worshiping and living, and something that you will find the cross and help him as my servant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we would be serving as God's servants if we take up our cross and follow him. So you remember those things that you have to do every day and some of them you don't like to do? Yeah. But those are the things that you have to do. I can offer those things up. So you can do things with an attitude of gratitude? Enemy of gratitude means goodness and responsible and loving. Even Jesus had to do things that we don't always like to do, but he did it with an attitude of gratitude. Hold up your crafts, show everybody home. 